Well, first and foremost, uh, I come as a witness of the name of the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, in all the world. Uh, I, I take very seriously the apostolic commission to represent him, to bear his name, bear his priesthood, uh, and to have people know that uh, that uh, presence in the church, that title in our name, uh, that Christ is the, the chief cornerstone of this great, magnificent work. So I come bearing witness of him and want to be worthy uh, to bear that apostolic title uh, for him and from him, uh, even as I identify more and more and more in my life with uh, how Peter and James and John must have felt. These are people who are loving and faithful I've had uh, previous assignments here in Hong Kong and in the surrounding area, and I've always been impressed with the faithfulness of these people. The growth of the church is evidenced in a testimony that develops into deepening conversion. We often speak about the importance of knowing the gospel is true. We come to know that by the power of the Holy Ghost, that's having a testimony. But consistently being true to what we know is ongoing conversion which is also a function of the ministry of the Holy Ghost. The church grows as the members are moving from testimony to ongoing, continuing conversion. And that's the foundation for an individual, for a husband and wife, for a family, for a branch, a ward, a stake, or a district. That's where the growth of the church comes. The more I travel the world, uh, the more nations I visit, the more people I'm blessed to learn from. The more I find that uh, in all the world, people are basically the same. I think we highlight the differences in culture and language, but uh, in all the places that I've been, fundamentally, in terms of what matters most, people are the same. Uh, most people have a yearning to love and worship God. They love their spouses, they love their children, and in that, it is exactly the same everywhere. Quickly I would add to that, related to that, is an expression of love. I really have been very anxious uh, for all of the membership uh, to know, and that includes the missionaries and everybody, who, the newest investigator, the, the newest baby, the, uh, the, the uh, teenager who's just uh, uh, coming to maturity. We've tried to have a message for all of those people that they are loved, they are known, uh, they, they are not um, unrecognized and they're not unremembered uh, at church headquarters from the brethren. Uh, this is about more or less halfway around the world from church headquarters, but it wouldn't matter where they were in the world. We'd want them to know that they were loved and admired and prayed for and appreciated. We're grateful for the service they render. We're grateful for people who have the courage and faith to join the church and to stay active and to build the church, establish the church. So that's certainly been, uh, I think, the second message that I've brought.